Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two very easy questions for you and the first question is members of the same species which are capable of interbreeding is best described as an and you have to choose the correct answer and right away we can cross out answer E in Tron uh, in Tron is a part of the gene gene consists of introns and exons so now we have to choose between four answers and let me briefly describe each term in turn. So biosphere basically represents all living organisms that populate our planet, starting with bacteria and archaea and ending with higher plants and animals uh, that lives anywhere uh, starting miles below the surface uh, of the planet and up many miles. Uh, above the surface of the planet. So, um, next let's talk about community and ecosystem. Both of these terms sometimes used uh, interchangeably but have slightly different meaning. Both of them, uh, meaning that uh, uh, both community and ecosystem is interaction of uh, different species that live in the same area. But ecosystem also includes um, inorganic uh, matter, for example, ecosystem of the lake also would include water, stones, streams, and uh, soil, and so on. And community only would include um, uh, only interacting uh, animals or other biological objects or uh, different species. So, uh, as you see, we left with only answer B, population, and the best description uh, or definition would be uh, population uh, is a members of the same species which are capable of interbreeding and also live in the same area. So, our choice would be answer B, population. Now let's move to the second question. If 16% of the persons in uh, a population show recessive trait, what is the allelic frequency for the dominant allele? In order to solve this problem, we have to know Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So if we have in our population two alleles, let's say this is allele P and Q, this two alleles in diploid organism so power of two means diploid organism if we would have triploid we would put three here or tetraploid we would put in a power of four so if we expand this formula we are going to get three genotypes that can be produced by these two alleles uh, in one locus so uh, p squared plus two p Q plus Q squared and all these three genotypes would equal to 1 or 100 percent and in this formula which we call Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium uh, let's say for allele P we have dominant allele and for the Q allele we have recessive allele so P squared would stand for the homozygous dominant genotype 2PQ stand for the heterozygous genotype and Q squared stand for the homozygous recessive genotype. And if we are told that um, homozygous recessive genotype uh, has frequency of the 16%, we can say that uh, this is the same as 0 0.16 on the scale between 0 and 1. We just have to divide this number by 100. Uh, because in usually in uh, mm, statistics uh, we do all our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. And by the way, these two, uh, these two genotypes would make one phenotype, dominant phenotype, and this genotype would make 
another recessive phenotype. And if we know that q squared equals to 0 0.16, we can find, of course, q. We just have to take a square root from both sides here. So q would equal to 0 0.16. Four. And if we know that the frequency of the recessive allele Q or recessive allele A equal to 0 0.4, we instantly know the frequency of the other dominant allele, which is going to be 0 0.6, because uh, we should get here 100%. If we have only two alleles and frequency one of those alleles is 0 0.4, of course, frequency of the other allele would be 0 0.6. Again, if we need an answer in percentage form, we just have to multiply this number by 100 and we are going to get 60%. And this is answer E. This is going to be a frequency of the dominant Alil. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.